Hey gang, old Big Collector here. Um, haven't done an update, a video update on the project in a while, so I thought I'd show off a new feature that's been on our to-do list for Mode 4 uh, for quite a while. And uh, it knocks out a, a very important function that we needed for video game usage, and that is the ability to detect what a tile is on the screen. And we've always had the ability to place tiles or font characters anywhere you wanted on the screen in Mode 4 but it was sort of one way. Once the tiles were out there, you really couldn't check to see if something's happened to those tiles. If a sprite is next to a tile, now we've got a facility for doing that. So we've got a new I squared C command. This will be command 225 that will be added to mode four. Actually, it's already in there and already put in the uh, official version of mode four. So if you haven't updated in a while, make sure you grab the new bin and MDE files. So I've been working on a little demo uh, as well as an instructable to teach people how to do basic gaming with Mode 4 using MM Basic. And uh, this little tile function is about to become very useful in this demo. So let me show you what I've got going on here. I've got a little 3K demo and I posted this to the forums. Feel free to download and play with this and explore it or change it and do what have you. That's a great way to learn. And I'm going to run this and grab my classic controller. And we've got a little load runner demo. Now, this is a very, very, very basic load runner demo. I have not added really much of anything to this version yet. I'm trying to keep things simple so that those of you who are learning can kind of follow along. Um, so if I grab my Wii controller, and I'm going to use the movement buttons on the Wii controller. I've got uh, sprite animation by page flipping uh, through the four sprites that make up my little walking guy. When I go the opposite direction, I'm simply telling the mirror function. I'm activating the mirror function so it flips the sprite over. So I don't have to have eight sprites to do this job. I only needed to have uh, four sprites. And the tiles are all detected. So if you'll see uh, below my sprite, it says number 38. That 38 is actually the lowercase a in the font file and I've defined it as a brick. Um, the sprite X and Y I've just put on the screen to make it easy to figure out where I am in relation to the sprite. And of course, uh, I've added a little scoreboard to this. So uh, just kind of want to invite you to get on the forums and check this out. I've got a thread created for this little program. Of course, I will be expanding this out to be a full load runner game. Um, this is a game that I originally wrote on the propeller that I'm going to port over to MM Basic using the Mode 4. But uh, this new function, this tile detect, opens the door to all kinds of uh, interesting games and interesting programs uh, that we all should be able to write and put together. So, see you guys on the forum. Hope you enjoyed this video update of the Micromite Companion Project.